Okay, so we just did the low air warning. Our last question is the push rod stroke. So for this question, it's important to know that your brakes are applied. Your pressure is at 100 PSI. Turn the wheels all the way to the left. You can look outside, make sure that the wheel is all the way to the left. From here, we're going to take the tools. We're going to take the tool box, go outside. We're also going to open the hood. In the toolbox, we have all the materials we need. We need the measurement tool to measure our brake chamber. As you can see, it has the measurement size, and then you can see that brake adjustments uh, limit. So you can see the measurements are here. You can this is our brake chamber, and I'm going to show you how we're going to measure it. So, as you can see, there are three rings. You're going to make sure that the three rings are lined up like that. You're going to look at the measurement, and it comes out roughly around 20. So this brake chamber has a tag at the back which is a long stroke tag if you did not see a sticker or a tag at the back which means it would not be a long stroke then. Okay so we measured the brake chamber. It came out as 20 LS. Like I said there was a tag at the back which means that 20 LS it would be a 2 inch limit. Okay so when we're done measuring we're going to put the tool, measuring tool back in here. We're going to grab the chalk and the measuring tape because these are the next steps we need to do. You come to the brake chamber again. Okay, so we're going to mark the push rod. So this mark now. Now we're going to go inside the truck. So we're going to go inside the truck. It's very important to know that you should, when you go up this truck, you have your hand here and hand here. You're going to go up the steps like this. You come inside. When you come inside, make sure you both your feet are on the side. Your stick's right here. You're going to press the brake. And you're going to apply it. So when you... When you six applied, you're gonna do ignition on. You're gonna note the pressure. It could be it shouldn't be less than a hundred. Okay, so my brakes are applied, the six is applied. So now we're gonna go outside. So it's important to know that when you go down, you make sure that your hands are here and coming down for your safety, that's what. Okay, so we're gonna be measuring the push rod as we as everything's applied. So now, as you can see, that we did when we pushed when the stick was in. At first, this marker was at the back. Now it came to the front. We're gonna see how far it came out. Okay, so we're gonna measure how far this mark came from the back to the front. And we're gonna see. It came out roughly around one inch, which is good. Okay, so we marked our push rod. It came out roughly one inch, which is good. If it was more than two inch, it would be a major defect. So now we're going to look at the schedule one. There's no minor defect for this. There's only a major push rod stroke of any brake exceeds the adjustment limit. It would be a major defect. Mention the logbook, call the operator, and I cannot drive. So we read the schedule one. Now we're going to close the hood and we're going to go inside. When you close the hood, it's important to know to check if it's locked from here. And you have to come on this side. You got to make sure that it's locked from here. We're going to walk to the opposite side and check the other side as well. It's important to know that all three sides are locked properly. Okay, so we checked. It's locked. Right? So we're going to go inside now. We're going to remove the stick and apply the brakes. Again, it's important to know for safety. You have both hands are here. So now, you're going to just take the stick off. You're going to apply the brakes. Okay, we covered all five questions of the air brake system and they are done. So we're going to do the next step of the, in, of the schedule one.